What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. I'm smiling because, listen, I'm finally getting ready to answer all of the emails and all of the comments on how I keep up with my, uh, my cast iron skillets, right? Super easy. I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Look, this is actually my favorite one. I just like let it be any old kind of way, have cleaned it. You can see right here, we got a little food on it. You know what I mean? Uh, look, you see the rush right here? I'm gonna show you guys just how to bring this back. And then my small one right here, you do, these are just gonna be my examples, you know what I mean? And then this one right here needs to be reseasoned, you know, over. But I'm gonna show you guys how to just like break them down, go ahead and, you know, bring them to the original. Now listen to this. Nobody thinks about this, but the cast iron skillet is the original non-stick pan. Hey, super easy. We're not gonna over talk it. I'm finna get prepped and get everything going and we finna make this happen. Okay, so look, we jumping right into it. I just wanna show you this right here. Look, got like a wire scouring pad, right? We got this and look, I got this right here. They call this a cast iron, you know, skillet cleaner, but it's like a little chain mall, you know? But look, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Look at this discoloration and all that. And you don't know this, but this right here, it's kind of like sticky. That's from putting oil in here and then just putting it up. But I'm gonna use this scouring pad and this chain mall right here, and we are gonna scrub this. All you are gonna need is, let me go ahead and get started. You're gonna need a little water. And then we're gonna use some mild, you know, dishwashing detergent, right? So look, we're gonna go like this. I'm just gonna put a little water in here like this. Right? I want you guys to pay attention. I just put a couple of drops in there and that's it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my scouring pad and we're just gonna work this around like this. Look, that, you know, the, uh, the dishwashing detergent is gonna break everything down. You guys getting the message right now. You getting the gist of it. This is it. We want to strip this all the way down because we are gonna start at zero. And then I want to say this too, never ever, once we finish this process, never ever, hey, look at me when I tell you this. Never ever, and I mean ever, once you have everything seasoned, seasoned, do not use soap on this. When you finish cooking with it, look, get yourself some hot water and get yourself a cloth and just go ahead and wipe off everything on there and then you wanna dry it. I gotta say that and I'm probably gonna say it 10 more times in this video. Do not use soap on a cast iron skillet once it's seasoned. Okay, so look, I've cleaned the other two. This is the third one. We at the end now, right? This right here, hey, listen, this is gonna be gratifying to you guys. Look, just lay it down. And this is the one that had like a little food that was down there that was burnt on the bottom. Look, I just lay it down flat, take my hands, just like this, and just work that area. And then I work it all the way around. And what I like about it, look, you can get right here in the corner in the seam. You can go like this. And it just, it, hey, it's perfect. Make sure you get the sides, all of that. Now. I'm just gonna rinse this out and make sure it's completely, you know, clean of all of the uh, the soapy water, anything that was left in there. And then look at this right here. That's nice and clean. Now you wanna go ahead and get yourself a, you know, a dry towel and you wanna keep running this across here cause you want it to be free of all water, right? We don't want it to rust. But I got a little trick right here that'll help you guys with this part right here also. Let's move over to the stove. Okay, so as I'm ensuring that this is dry, don't forget to dry the under undercarriage too, right? We'll do like that. And just in case we have dry, and sometimes when you wipe it, you'll see a streak. Look, no worries. We turn on the fire. I turn it on high. I let it go ahead and like cook, put some heat in there so the rest of it will just evaporate. Okay, so look, now that I'm getting ready to take the, you know, the skillet off of here, now will be a great time for us to preheat our oven. So I'm gonna preheat my oven to 500 degrees. Everybody doesn't go to 500, it'll probably go to, some people got to, those that go to 400, you can do, uh, excuse me, 450, that'll work too. But for me, I'm going to 500 and we are gonna preheat. Okay, so this is done. It's a little warm, right? I got a pot holder holding the handle. This right here, this is called a trivet. You guys want to get one of these, because listen, you don't want to put nothing hot on your... I do all the time, you know what I mean? Good practice is to have some of these, you know, one or two. You can put it on your counter. That way you're not putting this on your granite or Corian or whatever you guys are using. But for me, I'm going to start with it right there. Okay, so look, everything is ready. This is still kind of like cooling. So what I did was, I did, this is my barbecue setup, right? I got some cut resistant gloves right here. And I got, you know, my regular black gloves over the top. This allows me to be able to, you know, touch this without burning myself. 
it shouldn't be this hot. And for you guys that don't have this kind of setup, just go ahead and let it cool, at least cool enough so that you can do it. Now let's talk about the oils. Look, this is extra virgin olive oil. Actually, this is from Branton Vaughn. You know what I mean? This is my scallion. But listen, you guys probably have this. You can use, look, this is Crisco. Everybody might have this. And then for those of you guys that are around my age, let's talk about when we was growing up, our grandparents had a can that was on the uh, stove that stayed there permanently. Hey, anyway, this is old school right here. Now, the reason I'm, I'm showing you the oils, right? Listen, I didn't really tell you you know what to use, cause I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, I didn't season mine with whatever I had in my, you know, my cabinet. Right now, everybody's saying, cause I looked up some videos to see, you know, what's hot. Anybody doing anything differently than what I was taught? And uh, only thing I can tell you right now is uh, everybody's saying using that flaxseed is probably the best. You know what? But I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, I've used whatever I had, whether it was vegetable oil, canola, whatever I have available, that's what I use. But right now, you saw I got extra virgin olive oil. You know what I mean? It just happened to be a flavored olive oil. And then I got this uh, Crisco right here, which that's what I'm gonna be using. Now, you wanna go ahead and get yourself a paper towel, right? Cause I'm gonna be using, you do it however you wanna do it. I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. I done seen some videos out there just talking about all kinds of stuff, right? So we're gonna do it like this. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it, get a little bit of this, right? It doesn't take much. And remember, this is already warm, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and just hit it like this. Before I even do anything there, I'm gonna turn it over like this. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give me a fresh piece. Just something like this. Some of you guys might think it's not necessary to do the back, but I do it all. For one, we don't want nothing to, uh, to rush, right? You want to get yourself another paper towel, right? And, and again, look, not trying to over talk it to tell you guys how to do it. You do what's best for you. For me, I just fold it down like this. Everything that I put on there, I got my, in my mind, my mindset is to get it all off. We just want to take everything that we put on here off. We want to wipe it, get it completely free of what we just put on there. Right, same thing. In here, just take it all off. Wipe it all. You don't want to see nothing pooed in the side, nothing like that, right? You see all of that? That's okay. That's what you want to see. We want to get it all off. You think you're taking it off, but you're not. This is so porous, right? It's got, oh, I'm going to give you an example like this. This is how I would look under a microscope. This is what we feel with our hand, but listen, you got all of these little crevices inside of the cast iron. What we're doing is, just imagine us pouring something here and it's starting to build up. Once we got it built up over the top, it's gonna be like glass, right? And that's why we gonna come up with the original non-stick pan. Okay, check this out. I don't know if you guys can see that from back there, but look, this is at 500 degrees. Everything is preheated and it's ready to go, right? So, you can see that I got all of these done. Now I'm doing three at a time. So the, this one will look a little different from that one. And this is the one that I've done last. Remember, we put the shortening on. And what I did was I tried to wipe it all out everywhere. We applied it and you just want to wipe it out. You think you're wiping it out, but you're not. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the oven. Now notice, I just flipped this over. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Turn this upside down like this, put it in the oven. I'm, like I said, I'm doing three, but when we put it in the oven, we're gonna put it in there for one hour. Then after one hour, we're gonna shut off the oven and we're gonna let it just rest in there for about 30 minutes. Hey, super easy, you guys. And uh, you know what, I'm gonna say this part too. If you clean this and got everything out of here, putting it upside down ain't gonna do nothing because you're not gonna have nothing pooled. But the purpose of that is in case anything runs down or whatever, you don't want it to be all getting lumpy and clumpy and liquidy all on the side. But for the sake of argument, we're gonna put them in upside down. Remember, one hour, 500 degrees. And for those, that got, for those of you guys that your oven don't get to 500, 450 works too. Okay, so listen. Already was in there for an hour. All I did was turn off my oven, right? And we just let it naturally start cooling down, right? So it's been 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna take them out and I'll bring it over here so you guys can see. Look at the color and you can see it's starting to get a little bit on the smooth side. But look, now we on our way to seasoning. And then if you rub your hand right here, you can just feel that it's got like a little layer on here. But we're gonna leave it alone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my shortener and then we're gonna repeat that process. We're gonna put as much on here as we can, and then we're gonna take off as much as we can. So, let's get something like this, just like this. Just got a little heat in it already. Soon as you do it, look how liquidy it is. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and hold that even though I got a set of cut resistant gloves here and I got these on top, it's still a little warm. But we're just gonna take it like that. Hey, there, this is how you can see it's still hot. Look at that right there. You see it melting right there in front of your eyes. Just makes it easier when it's warm for you to just apply. So we're gonna put it on just like this. Once we got it done again, look, I'm not gonna bore you guys and keep talking about it and telling you, you got the gist of it. We just wanna get it coated. Then we wanna take off as much as we can. Then we're gonna go back in for one hour. Then we're gonna turn the oven off and we're gonna go ahead and let it just cool naturally for 30 minutes. And we're gonna repeat this process. I like to do it four times. It's something I forgot to say. Look, after you turn off your oven and you let it rest for that 30 minutes, right? When you take your skillet out, turn your oven back on and we want to get back to 500 degrees, right? So I've done these already. These are done. You can see front and back. What I'm going to do now is we're going to put them back in the oven upside down and we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what they look like after being done twice. Now, again, I'm not going to bore you with the same old wipe on, wipe off or some of us know it's my area. What's that, that wax on, wax off, right? I'm not gonna bore you. I'm gonna show you three and four, what they look like, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. It's super simple, and this is a great project. I'm gonna probably tell you that again at the end. Look, it's a great project for like the weekend. You know what I mean? Uh, when you're at home, you can just do this. When you think about it, by the end of the day, you'll have something that you can pass on, like a family heirloom. So, take a look at that right there. You see this? This is what it looks like right after, you know, your second time. So this is number two. And this is number three and number four. Look, look at that. It's a little bit of a process, but look at that right there. Ah, yeah. And this right here, my friends, these are the original nonstick pans. Okay, so you can see that they all done right here, right? These right here are ready. You can put the eggs on here. You can put whatever. And now let's go ahead and talk about like the cleanup, right? So when, this, when you're done with this, right? What you gotta do is you just get yourself some water. Look, it's gonna already be hot and all of that. You can get yourself one of these. Look, this is just a stainless steel Scotch Bright, right? Or you can get one of these uh, chain malls, you know, great for cleaning, you know, it's cast iron skillets. Everything that you see in this video right here, I'll put down in the number one comment. You guys can get them, you know, get them from Amazon. That way they come right to your door. Now, even all the way down to these trivets, you know what I mean? Uh, these are here, great to put this on top, but all of this is already cool. Now, well, I'm gonna talk about the oils, remember, I'm giving it to you 100% honest. I use whatever I have in there to do it. You gotta remember, every oil that you use is gonna have some type of, uh, it's gonna have a number, meaning, you know, for the smoke point. Some smoke at 375, some smoke at 450, stuff like that. So listen, it's gonna make your house a little bit on the smoky side, but I promise you, you're gonna go ahead and make these, then you can make, uh, you know, eggs inside, it won't stick, none of that. And listen, it's a family heirloom, you know, you're gonna pass it down from generation to generation. Now. Listen, if you like this content and you wanna do something a little bit more than that, don't forget, look underneath this video, you're gonna see a join button, right? All you gotta do is click that, a video's gonna play, real short video, it's gonna explain the memberships. That's where it get a little bit more personal. You guys can vote, talk to me, and tell me what you want me to do, and I can do it and we can talk real time. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, I wanna say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell, right? That way you can be you know, notified anytime I drop any of these how-to or fire recipes. And with that being said, now you know how to season your cast iron skillet. And I'm out. Peace.